All right. Hey, Cancer. So we're checking in on your person. The energy is going to be based on your person, the one that comes through your mind. So what I've done is I meditated on the energy of the person that is uh, wanting to come through and connect with you. So if you don't resonate with the current situation and how you feel about this connection, please check your Moon Rising or Venus placements. And if you're new, welcome, you guys. I do hope that you subscribe if you like my vibe. All right. At the end, I'll pull some messages from um, your person, what they want you to know. And anyways, let's just kick it off. Happy new moon. So the current situation is what we're pulling first. The current situation. <clears throat> All right. So for you, look at that. You got the lover's card coming through, the sun, the knight of cups. So this could be um, a something brand new or it could be a reconciliation or a reconnection of something of the past. Okay. Um, what I feel here, if you guys have not um, had the... If you guys have not had the confirmation of the connection coming um, through, I feel that this energy right here is the desire of you and the one on your mind, okay? Um, also, too, as a side note, you guys just know that this person wants you to know that they will be coming through if they have not shown up yet. So, um, and otherwise, um, I just feel like it's all happy. So the energy between you and them, I'm really happy soulmate energy. All right. Um, you make their world go round. You know, the sun card, that is the, happy, the happiest card in the deck that we can get. All right, so regardless of what your circumstances are, okay, the energy that is felt between you and them is happiness, joy, um, abundance, love. Um, I love that you, the Knight of Cups is coming through. That's Scorpio and Libra energy. Um, so you could be having those in your main placements or it could be the person on your mind. But overall, there's no negative feelings towards the current situation. There is um, something that's going to unfold, manifest for you if it's not here yet. Because um, this energy is very, very strong. Um, also, too, it could just be new connections coming through, making their way to you guys. So how do you feel about this energy? How are you feeling about this energy? All right. We have the Knight of Coins also showing up. Look at that. Earth and Water. Um, we have the Hangman card coming through in reverse. And we have the Three of Coins. So if they're... Um, if you are holding on to like a confused dynamic, if this uh, situation has left you kind of dazed, confused, um, just kind of in your head, I feel like you're coming out of that. So you're starting to see a bigger picture and you're starting to piece the connection together between you and them. All right. This could have started out as a friendship um, because the three of coins is here. And when I look at that in a love read, I look at that as starting to build from the ground up and making way towards something um, positive. Right. The Knight of Pentacles also could suggest that this has been something that has been going on for a minute. All right. And you can't wait to see um, the wheels start to spin in your favor. So let's see who we are talking about. Who is this person that is on your mind? Their energy. Wow. Virgo, very, very strong Virgo energy. Very strong um, Virgo energy. All right. So we got Virgo. You got um, Aries coming through with the four of uh, wands. And we have the hermit card. So their current energy, it could be hit and miss. They could be um, kind of in and out a little bit. There could be some more quiet uh, uh, days, like two to three days. Um, a week or so goes by. You know, this person I really feel is kind of going within, contemplating what the next move might be for you guys. If you haven't, if you're currently on an out phase or you're currently like, I haven't heard from this person, I want to know what's going on. Um, it's like they're really contemplating everything between uh, you and them. All right. With the uh, the four of wands and the lovers card, that's beautiful energy. Um, so again, I say that this is like something that is mutually felt no matter what the dynamic is. All right. Um, with their energy, the king of pentacles, that's going to be somebody that you're very attracted to a little bit quiet. Like I said, um, maybe they go within, they're withdrawn at times, but this person, you are very attracted to them. They put themselves together very well. They look good, smell good, dress good. They could own their own business. Um, they could be just a higher up somebody who is very sound when it comes to making money, um, and keeping everything together. Okay. The king of pentacles is somebody who's, um, financially wealthy in the material world. And if they're not, if they don't, um, show that they at least know how to maintain, um, and keep things going for themselves. Cause he does show up in the upright. All right. But a little bit on the quiet side is how I'm seeing this person. So let's just see, um, what this person has shown you when it comes to the connection, what they have shown you when it comes to the connection. Okay. I can't help but feel like you guys, um, if uh, dating or whatever, um, I feel like there's uh, limitless potential. Okay. I feel like it's limitless potential. Um, you know, the seven of cups is, is showing up here. All right. You got the king of wands also showing up here and we have the four of swords. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say this. I feel like you 
might have had a perception of this person in the past where they come off as having options. They could be coming off as player mentality. Um, but I feel like that's, I feel like you've kind of seen a, a transformation in your thoughts. Okay. The reason why I say that is it's almost like, um, the quiet withdrawn behavior as you got to know this person or you're getting to know this person. Um, it could be that your first, um, uh, what is it? The first impression that you got was a player vibe, but I, I don't feel like that energy is here. I feel like you're just very attracted to this person. Okay. I feel like what they've presented to you or shown you is that, um, and again, limitless, limitless potential, endless opportunities. We can go anywhere. We can do anything if we put our minds to it. Right. Um, very powerful when it comes to manifestations and getting what they want. I feel like that's the, the vibe this person has, has shown you. All right. Um, the four of swords comes through as, you know, when it's time to work, it's time to work. When it's time to play, it's time to play. When it's time to rest, it's time to rest. Um, I feel like you picked all of that energy up from them. Okay. But again, you could have had a misconception about the, their personality traits when you guys first met. So let's just see how they're currently feeling about you. How they currently feel about you. There could have been some hiccups in this connection, you guys. Okay. Um, even if it's new, even if it's a, a reconciliation, there could have been some hiccups in the past. Um, look, the soulmate energy is still coming through very strong. All right. How they feel about you. Um, they're okay. So they're not scared of you anymore. And if they were having out or doubts, um, they're not scared of it anymore. Look at that. The nine of cups come through. You're showing up as a wish fulfillment in their eyes. Um, they see the soulmate energy. You see the soulmate energy and you guys are bouncing that off of each other. So um, let's just see of how they view your connection. How do they view your connection? Look at that. We're, we're in it to win it. Look, the king and queen of pentacles are now showing up. Okay, look at this. We, you guys could be seeing 10, 10. All right, you could be seeing a lot of 10s, 10, 10 on the clock, um, just all over the place. Okay, that's going to be a, a synchronicity that aligns with you in this connection. All right, so how they have see, how they see the connection. I feel like you guys have had out phases, okay? All right. And what I mean by that, there's been little to no contact during um, the, the, the period that you guys have been um, connected. It could have ended at one point in time or, you know, it could just be that you have fears or worries that this is going to end. It could be too that they're, they, they have fears or worries that this is going to end. Um, or it wasn't going to make its way back around. All right. But the 10 of wands suggest a determination. So um, it's like they're, they are determined to see it. Okay. With the energy that's coming off these cards, no matter how long it takes, because the Ace of Swords is a powerful new beginning. It is delayed though. All right. So um, I feel like they, they, they're, I feel like they're pretty confident about this connection, no matter what you guys have been through trials and tribulations. So let's see what upcoming changes are taking place for you guys. The upcoming changes the upcoming changes. Wow. You guys have the King and King, Queen of Wands showing up, the, the King and Queen of Pentacles showing up. Look at that. The upcoming changes, new beginnings all around. All right. You got whirlwind coming through here with the Ace of Wands. That's awesome. That's passion. All right. Um, that This right here, the Ace of Pentacles, that is a commitment. Okay. And you got the, these um, same suits that keep popping up, you guys. That's just a very, very strong um, suggestion. All right, that they see a very, very clear future now. Okay, so the upcoming changes, I feel like if you guys um, have been kind of, again, that hangman in reverse, if you've kind of had your doubts or worries, I feel like this person is going to co come through and show up for you in ways that you have not imagined yet or you haven't been able to picture. Okay, um, so that's the changes that are taking place for you guys. Just know that this is a 30 to 60 day intention that I've set here for you guys. So I want to see um, how this is going to manifest over the next 30 to 60 days. How is this going to show up for you in the next 30 to 60 days? Look at that. They're recognizing the soulmate. They're, 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 rec they're recognizing you as home, comfort, stability, um, security, all of that good stuff. All right. So their next move, look at that. This is just working towards communication, working towards the bond. Okay, I feel like what you're being told right here with patience is to just have have a little faith that it's all going to come together. All right. Um, but the king of swords, that's somebody who's very communicative. That's somebody who's going to reach out. That's somebody who's going to communicate their feelings where they um, want to see this go and grow with you. Um, and definitely that soulmate energy. Um, and if you have not felt this this energy or you guys have not discussed it, this energy, the soulmate, the two of cups, the lovers, um, 
the same uh, suit pairing showing up, the Empress card showing up, you guys, those are all signs of the, the deep soul mate bond that this person feels towards you. All right, which is awesome. So I'm going to pull and we're going to get um, some messages from this person, what they want you to know, what they want you to know. What does this person want cancer to know? Look at that. You guys, the seven of wands, you are all I think about. All right, this is going to be a very healing dynamic for us when we start moving forward and we will start moving forward. All right, the seven of, of pentacles, it says basically no matter what struggles lay ahead of us, we're going to be able to, to shift them, shift through them very, very easily. The six of swords is coming through to say no matter what, there's going to be no more hiccups and that three of pentacles shows back up. Um, you and this person have a very, very strong bond. All right, they feel very good, very confident about the connection and how you guys, how it's how it's being perceived on their end moving forward. So that's awesome. Um, what a good read. I love it. So let's get some initials for you guys. We got TP, MQ, and JG. All right, Cancer, I'm leaving it there. Take care.